let's roll into Kanye's Kanye's uh documentary. One to ten, what you rate it? I'll give it a seven point five. Mm, why that? Why you give it that 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 rating? It was good, bro. It was really dope seeing like the creative process of like his um albums, especially like the first album. Uh-huh. And like just him being in the rooms, like uh collaborating with the other artists. So like that side of it was super dope. The documentary part of it was, you know, so so. Uh, as far as like how it flowed and perspective wise, so um, mm-hmm. you know, total I give it like a seven and a half. But I mean, I will say it was really inspirational, just because, man, like that man would not let anyone tell him he can't do and do something. You hear me? Like, <laughs> <All right. laughs> whatever he put his mind to, man, it's like he bring it into fruition. Like you know, and he don't need anybody else to really co-sign, co-sign. with him mm-hmm. in order for him to accomplish it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, he needed co-signs to break into the industry, but he was going to get in at some point or other just off of sheer willpower. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. what, that's what I appreciated from him, man. What you thought about it? Uh, I'm going to give it a 10. 10 out of 10. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why, bro. It, it was two main reasons for me, man. First, now, are you basing um, that score off of his story or the film series in total? To me, it's all one. It's all one because the story is nothing without the film. The film is nothing without the story. And I feel like if one is so powerful that the other one don't even matter. Like, to be honest, bro, I I know it was like cam type footage or whatever, but. Oh, no. I that's really what, pay attention to that. That's what I made didn't really it pay attention. was the retro well, look yeah. of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I ain't I'm, saying I'm that. Saying I, I didn't really pay attention to all the production and all that stuff because mm-hmm. the message was so strong. Oh yeah, you feel for what I'm sure. saying? And so for me, I don't really care about all the other stuff uh, because the, the message in itself, uh, it could have been a podcast, bro, a six hour podcast mm-hmm. um, in itself by with just the audio of that, right? So uh, for me, man, I get a 10 out of 10 um, and I give it a 10 out of 10 for two reasons. One, in both of these reasons we talk about here on the show. One, uh, the power of a supporting parent. Yeah, sure. The power of a supporting parent, man. Like, if if I didn't take anything away from that that podcast or that uh podcast that uh documentary, it was that um your level of support from you know for your kid mm-hmm. can literally be the difference between them giving up at first failure mm-hmm. and them continuing to drive forward to have the success that he had. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I feel like, man, that documentary was just as much of her story as it was his. You know what I'm saying? Because she was so vital and ingrained in the process. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, man, we, yeah. there's And it's crazy because she supported him in something that most parents would deem, like, a waste of time or whatever, but man, she supported him so much that she knew his lyrics like word by word. So, you know, it was like she was exactly. really invested into what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you. internally, she, maybe she didn't feel like this was the best career move for him, but she supported him. Therefore, she exactly. had to support what he was doing. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So that's something I really, you know, picked up on, man, because like with my kids, I, I can't, I'm kind of watching their interests and things I hope that they would like to pick up. Yeah. But if you know, once they really figure out what they want to do, it may be something completely different than I envision for them. But that just taught me to back them no matter what, man. And like even if they fail, like, you know, you still gotta be there for them. Like you can't just I told you so. I, I told you, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, hey, get back up. Try it again. You know? Try it again. For mm-hmm. sure. And, and and that was again, but that was one of the that was one of the things I I really took note of man uh watching the documentary she she was super supportive bro I'm, mm-hmm. I, I mean to be honest bro I don't think I've ever seen support like that like in my of course in my life my pop support me don't get me wrong mm-hmm. uh but she did it on, on on a whole different level 
Yeah. Um, so yeah, I never seen that obviously in my life, but then even in my friends, like you know, people like you know, you know, I'm not sure what your parents did outside of when I was around, but that level of support that she she had for him, man, it, it was just different, bro. Mm-hmm. It, it motivated me, bro. I didn't even know it. You know what I mean? And All so right. that that was one reason. The second reason was um, like you said, man, like. It, it doesn't matter what anybody think of you, mm-hmm. right? What matters is what you think of yourself and how far you're willing to go to prove to others what you think of yourself is how they should see you. You know what I mean? Or how they should take you or how, how they should respect you or receive you. There we go. How they yeah. should receive you, right? This man, you know, was one of the great, is one of the greatest producers of all time. Mm-hmm. One of the greatest beat makers of all time, right? One of the greatest, sure. you know, engineers of all time, right? Well, I don't, I'm not sure if he engineered it. Well, I, yeah, he was an engineer. Yeah, he was. He was. I said, I think all this stuff kind of flow yeah. into each other. But he, yeah. he, he he was the best of all, one of the best of all times, right? Mm-hmm. But then this man was like, "Listen, th- that's cool, but I rap too." And, no, and he ain't saying rap, like I rap, but I happen to produce. He want to be no more of a rapper than a producer, honestly. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So when you have yeah. success producing something, one of the greatest hip hop albums ever, if not the greatest hip hop album ever, uh, in the Blueprint. When you have success as a producer, um, producing something like that, it's like what what really drives you to to venture off into something else? Well, his drive, his his belief in himself, um. You know, he 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 knew that he was a rapper, bro. Like he knew mm-hmm. he wanted to be a rapper. He knew that he was a rapper, and he knew that he wasn't just any rapper. He was he was a great one, right? So, mm-hmm. uh, never letting anybody else put their agendas on you, um, and and ne- le- never letting anyone else's belief in you, um, determine where you'll end up. Yeah, you know or define I mean? you, man. It was like at or one point, you, bro. Exactly. Somebody said in in the documentary that he was like one of the best. Uh, rapper producers and he was like nah I'm just That's one of the nah. best rappers like <laughs> he yeah. was like basically he was saying like don't box me into that category like I'm a rapper period you know what I'm saying so that just spoke to like I said you know not letting people label you you know what I'm saying and you sure live in whatever category that you want to live into you know what I'm saying and, and do what you believe in so yeah man it, it was dope the story was crazy man like i and it just made me want to go back and just listen back to all the all the old albums man right. cause <laughs> downloaded all of them right <laughs> they're playing them non-stop i'm about running to them too hey. yeah for sure Jeez. and Tough, graduation man. man graduation always been like one of my favorite albums anyway but i just got so much more appreciation for it now just because i know how much hard work this man put into each body of work and like it's a testament to his career. I've never seen like Kanye really like flop musically. You know, he may have some other personal stuff going on, but as a rapper producer, like he's never been off. I don't think you know what I'm saying, but I think it's just how much hard work and dedication he put into his craft, man. And it's just can we speak to this too, real quick? Yeah, go ahead. People don't even talk about this, and I don't. It's it's bizarre that mm-hmm. they don't. This man is one of the fastest. Uh, growing entrepreneur because you know what he does. He he has his own business. He has his own clothing line. Uh, mm-hmm. this man is one of the fastest earning entrepreneurs that have ever walked the earth. Mm-hmm. People don't realize this, right? He's worth ten billion. Ten. This man came in came in the game after Jay Z. And Jay Z just hit his bill what a year two years ago something like that. Mm-hmm. He came in what five, five to eight years, five to seven years after Jay, right? Yeah, thanks. Uh, and I'm so just comparing the two. I'm just comparing the two right now. Um, uh, and, and I'm gonna compare him to other billionaires later on. But between the two, man, he achieved that <laughs> that B right on the end of his on the end of his name on the end of his title, uh, way faster than than, than Jay Z did. Mm-hmm. All right, let's let's use him when talking about other other billionaires, man. Like. It's not many. I'm not. I'm not even talking about just black. There's not many billionaires. Period. That has achieved uh, that number in a shorter, you know, time span than he has. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So not only is he one of the greatest uh, producers of all time, not only is he one of the greatest rappers of all time, 
He's one of the greatest businessmen of all time. Yeah, for sure. You feel what I'm saying? And people don't think about that because of all the other stuff that he got going on. But you have to give this man his flowers while he's here. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We talk life, health, wealth on the show, man. This dude, I mean, wealth is crazy. <laughs> crazy. You know what I'm saying? And the life leading up to it <laughs> is what provided that wealth. Mm-hmm. You know? So, uh, shout out to Kanye, man. Shout out to Dunda. You know, um, we need more mothers like her. We need more parents like her, period. Uh, and, and shout out to Cootie, the guy who recorded the whole documentary yeah, and all yeah, that, man. For sure. Super for seeing dope, it, for he dope saw dope. it, you know, before he even became Kanye. You know, Kanye was, you know what I'm saying? He's yeah, He yeah. just saw it in him. You know, he was like, man, I got to. He didn't, I don't think he came into it as in, I'm going to try to catch him up to the top. It was just, he saw the greatness in him. It was like, man, I got to document this, yeah. you know, so that when we look back, we can really, we can all appreciate, you know, the work ethic that he put in, man. 